What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What's up? <laughs> What's going on there, young young man? That's young, two times in a row. Two videos in a row. Woo Assassins. This is the yep. finale, part two. It's called Paths, episode 10. Uh, this is it, Mikey. This is where it happens. Yeah. This is where it all goes down. Um, a lot of stuff yeah. kind of happened in this, in this thing. I mean, not... All right. So, yes, a lot of stuff happened. Um, but uh, I don't know what else I was going to say about that. So... Uh, a couple things, man. A couple things. Last episode, uh, you know, Uncle Six gets shot in the brain. We see that. Mm -hmm. This episode, F Kai finally gets mad. Like, we finally yeah. see some actual emotion. Like, he's like, I'm, now I'm pissed. I'm going to kill yeah. this bitch. You know? Yeah. And then he reads he reads Six's letter. And they did something interesting, which is they didn't... We didn't get to read the letter. Mm -hmm. which i thought was pretty interesting no i mean we're so i like i know like i'm so conditioned to like expect a voiceover or a flashback or to see the yeah. letter or something but we didn't see any of that you know we just got his pure reaction and i wonder if that was like hey let's let's you know uh let's get him just reacting and then they were like that was really good we're just gonna leave that and not do anything else with it yeah. possibly i mean yeah. i think we kind of i don't i don't think it would be a mystery to what's on the page yeah. for us as the viewers right. exactly I think, it's hey you know, i love you i love you yeah. and if i die then i love you whatever yeah um but you know at this point now they have two problems to deal with now mm. they have and i like that they've got to deal with mcculloch and they also got to deal with zan you know yeah. and, and i kind of like that um moving forward anything else you want to say about that because I'm going to jump right over to the, to the yeah, no. speech. Yeah, no. I mean, we kind of get right into I mean... <laughs> yeah, so they show... Right, they show up, and... Dude, man, Tommy Flanagan is a really good bad guy. He gives a really good bad guy speech. I just thought it was mm -hmm. so good. I mean, it wasn't boring, and, you know, his, his accent, it, it accentuates it, and it's yeah. just... I don't know, man. I just really enjoyed... I just enjoy listening to this, this guy talk. Yeah. This this particular character normally it annoys me. Normally hearing that hearing like a bad guy go on and on and on about the same shit that it, you know the whole season, it's it's annoying, right? But yeah, I don't know about you, but this guy like I love hearing this guy. No, I mean listen, he's good. He's not one of those guys that I see him on screen or something. I'm like you know when you ha have that villain that just can't stand. Yeah, you know? you're like oh, all right, enough with this guy. Uh, yeah. No, no, I mean listen, he's good and. You know, we, we spoke about this on and off camera about what his whole agenda is. And and really, um, I don't necessarily think he gives two shits about Kai or the metal. Well, that's what he said. Or, he said, you know, he, he was saying he said yeah, to him in his speech, you know, all, you're all you're all just a means to an end for me. Yeah, it's all it he just wants to get back matter. to his family. So really, in a way, I mean, it's 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 like, um, he, you know, he's loyal to the family. And after 500 years, he's, he just that's all he wants to do. So there's a there's a, there's like a good part of him you know so uh yeah i can't really yeah. blame a guy that you know he'll do whatever means is necessary to go get back to his family yeah and if that means killing or whatever the case is i um, he, he he's down to do it he's also jaded so, as all hell being alive for so long and he yeah. learns he's learned how to manipulate he's amassed the fortune this whole thing mm -hmm. um but i i really enjoyed the the whole scenario of where where they where the sides the line was drawn who was on what side i just like that scenario they're all standing in the woods and he's talking to him and he's like he's telling him basically you know hey listen you're not gonna you're not gonna defeat me i'm gonna do what i want to do anyway whatever you do just give me the damn thing mm -hmm. and i didn't see that coming i didn't see him giving tommy you know the wood woo i didn't see that yeah i didn't see that at all you know basically yeah. again you know like i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna trump you and i'm gonna do this Mm -hmm. um but it didn't matter because well the earth woo earth woo, sorry he's the wood woo i meant to say that uh i thought earth i don't know why i said wood because i'm thinking of the woods that's why because they're in yes. the woods um, but that but that just activated the gate yeah so that's what he did anyway he's like ah oh, great you uh you, you know you did everybody's there you know so, and, well, yeah let's so you know that was i mean i just i just again I just I thought it was interesting. Like he was like that was just like everything just played right into. He knew he knew Kai would do that. He knew he knew what would happen. You know he knew mm -hmm. all of that. And um, I don't know. So then they activate the gate, and now we're in the gate. Now we're inside. Uh, we're inside the Dow, right? Yeah. Um. So talk to me. What do you what do you what do you think about what went down in the in in there? Yeah, you like I, it. I, I, you thought it was. No, nah, I mean, I you... there was some things I kind of just. 
I thought it was um, rather easy for Kai to just go in there with a bunch of the other Wu, and all of a sudden they just the, the Wu Jing just leaves their body. I just thought that was it was relatively easy an easy task, um, and for the most part, you know, McCullough is the one that brought him there. So right. it was just like one of those things. It's just like, all right, let's all go in there. They lose their ability very fast. You know, uh, Kai makes the shell, you know, completes the shell. Right. He pulls out his. It's yeah. His, his monk piece. His, and stuff, yeah. his monk piece. And and there you go. So then it goes from four or five different Wu to just like regular fighters. So I just thought that it was it was like easy, still very cool. I liked how the, the way the Dow looked with the storm and mm-hmm. and all these kind of things in the background. But I just felt it was kind of easy for for Kai because now you have McCullough really running off because you know what his main yeah, focus he didn't give is. a shit. He just he just wanted yeah. to get through that door. So b- real quick before we go any yeah. further with that. So all right, he he goes in right, and we could we could talk more about how how it all went down, but. I just, Kai, I didn't realize, you you corrected this off camera for me, but I didn't realize that, because I was like, why did he have to kill McCulloch? Like, I'm like, why? Mm-hmm. Okay, so, you know, at the end, he's like, you know, he's second guessing himself and he's and he's thinking about it and he's he hasn't gotten over it, whatever the case. But I'm just like, why did he, but why did he have to? Like, he could, but then you were like, yeah, but if, if you remember in the previous episode, you know, Mark Dacascus, his monk told him if he gets in here and he stays here, like if he gets into that door and he stays in that realm, it's going to mess up. It's going to throw everything out of balance. Yeah. Time, space and just disrupt I everything. Didn't, I didn't re- yeah. like I didn't put those two things together for some dumb reason. Yeah. So I'm like, why? Just leave him. Let him go. Number one. Number two. Where the hell was he going to go anyway? McCulloch. Like, yeah. OK, you got your family back, which I thought was, you know. I, I enjoyed the writing where they were like, I don't know you. Who the hell are you? you you're 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 weird. Get out of here. You're wearing what the hell you're wearing and like your hair. And I thought that was cool. Yeah. So they still weren't. I feel like they still weren't a hundred percent with him. And he was just like, Nah, you're gonna do what I say because I'm you. You know, you're you're the I'm the leader of the family. Whatever. Yeah. But I guess he knew Kai was coming after him. Now that effect was really cool. That looked like it was a practical effect, actually. When that it looked like it might have been sand, like right? It was like sand coming oh, down yeah. to get into the that that portal. Yeah. To get into wherever that his family is, the afterlife or whatever the hell that is. I mean, there's a lot of unexplained things here. Mm-hmm. But again, where did you think you were gonna go? Like, did he think like how, how what was his plan to get out of there? And then so Kai comes Who's, in. Uh, you're, you're talking McCullough. Yeah, like I didn't know well, what McCullough his McCullough was planning to stay there for the, you know, for the no, rest. No, but they of were his... running though. He was like, "We gotta go. We gotta go." Where were they going to? And then so Kai comes in and he ends up killing him, right? Yeah. How did Kai get out? You know what I mean? Like I just found the portal again. There's, I just these are some things that I'd like, I'd like to kind of like know. Like mm. it's a little for me, it's world building. Like okay, well they do this. I mean, it's not necessarily important because it doesn't matter at all. But. Yeah. Uh, the fights in the in the Dow were pretty dope. I uh, I enjoyed the fights. CG gets to kill that dude. I thought that was pretty yeah. cool. Kills the metal woo. You know, yeah. Lou's fighting a bunch of guys and Kai's fighting a bunch. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, even Tommy got some good looks in on there. You know, of course I'm like Tommy can't fight. You know, but all of a sudden Tommy <laughs> can fight. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean he has to know a little something, right? I mean, you think, you would think, you know. All his other buddies and his sister's a badass. I mean, he has to have some kind of skills. Um, Yeah, you know, um, I mean, I'm just scrolling through the notes. Yeah, so, I mean, we got got that action really right away. I mean, the first half of the episode was really just being inside the Dow and and Kai hunting down uh, McCullough. Right. um, Which... I don't know how you feel about it. I feel like it was. I don't know. I would have liked to see a bigger brawl with them too, especially since McCall is supposed to be like the biggest, baddest villain of this of the show for the most part. Right. And Kai, you know, and and um, they made it seem like Kai, like McCall was going to be this big foe, this tough, the toughest foe. And really, he just sneaks out from you know, he jumps on him and he stabs. Yeah, but I like that. I, I mean, it's dude, not like everything... I don't like it. 
but I just yeah, you know, every everything's was, got it that. A, it was over fast. This this episode, everything was over fast. They go into the gate. Everybody yeah. loses their Wu Jing, and they get their ass kicked by Jenny and Lou and Kai and everybody. And um, and then you know, Kai sends those guys off. He goes into in after McCullough, and yeah. Mc, he stalks McCullough a little bit, and he jumps on him and stabs him in the chest. Yeah. So it's you know, it, I mean, it was it was. Maybe you For, felt like it was a little rushed. They should have. Not that it was necessarily rushed, but I, I think I would have enjoyed more of, um, a, like a bigger fight or, you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to use the word rushed, but I guess slight, like a slight rush. Might yeah, have, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, I can see that. You know, I, I also felt like it was a little, possibly a little bit rushed, or, you know, um, as far as having them fight, like, you know. Part of me is like, yeah, it would have been cool to see them foot square off. But at the same time, it's like, you know, it's in everything. Everyone's the good guys got to the heroes got to fight the villain in this climactic thing. Like, I thought it was interesting yeah. that they didn't do that. And what's more interesting is after the fact when they did the family dinner. I've, I've said it from the beginning. I love these characters together. Mm-hmm. I, you know, what I, I, I keep saying, this. I don't care what anyone thinks about the show, but that family um, element to these, these, these four, uh, people, you know what I mean? Like, I just really enjoy it. They love each other. They care about each other. They've been with each other for years. They, they've been through a lot and, you know, they grew, they came up, they grew up together. Like I really enjoyed that aspect of this show. And it's, I think it's really nice that they brought it back and, and you got that, you know, everyone, you know, Tommy's doing better, Lou's same old Lou, uh, trying to figure out what he's going to do next. Uh, you know, Jenny, she's got the, you know, she's also on a better path. And, okay, let's do this. And, you know, Kai, excuse me, Kai is dealing with what he had to do, you know, killing McCulloch, you know, in, in front of his family, basically, you know. So, you know, that's something he's dealing with. And then the weird thing was uh, the, the shopkeep comes in. Young is his name. I yeah, think? Mr. Yeah, Mr. Young was odd, right? That was a little weird. I didn't. I didn't know what that was. Is he now? I thought he was six or something. I'm like, is six like in his? Yeah, is he? Oh, by the way, we see. Uh, we see. Uh, um, so so CG leaves. CG and yeah. Luke kiss, and she's like, I'm gonna leave, and she takes his car, right? She says yeah. she's gonna go. So who knows if she'll be back in season two? Uncle mm-hmm. Six. There's an Uncle Six lives mural. There's a graffiti, yeah. So you're thinking that's like a literal thing. I'm thinking that's just I don't like know. I mean, the memory maybe, of Uncle Six. Yeah, is, I don't know. I just, I just, um, you know, I, I don't know. I just kind of have this feeling that it's not the last we're we're gonna see. Hey, him, so. hey, I would lo- I listen. I uh, Byron I, Mann is 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 the dude that plays him, and I love that guy. Maybe he'll be a part of, and if he is gone, maybe we'll see him again in the Dow or something. Again, I don't know, to but help or. Dude, Obviously, because something else is going on. Yeah, know, dude, what the, the hell? Ying Ying shows up. Yeah. In the real world. Yeah. Now, again, I'm like, okay. So I have a bit of an issue with that. Like, what? Like, at first, you're like, what the hell's happening? Oh, damn, this is crazy. Oh, crap, what's going to happen? But then I'm like, that seemed a little ham- ham-fisted. Like, it seemed like that was, that might have been like, but hey, you don't know what's gonna happen next. Look at this. Check this out. And I was like, all right. Not that not that I say that I didn't like it or anything, but you know, I just thought it was like For me, it was almost kinda like Back to the Future when Doc comes back and he's like, Marty, we gotta go. You know, we gotta go back <laughs> to the future. And he's just like, What? What do we become assholes or something? You know what I mean? Yeah, Be- yeah, first of yeah. all, best line out of those movies. Best yeah. line. But you know what I mean? If to me it felt like that. Like that was Doc Brown coming back, being like, "Kai, guess what? Yeah, you win." Well, any done. any movie, any any movie or TV show that you can compare it to one of the classic all time greats, you know? yeah. is not can't be too bad. But but yeah, anyway, yeah. I mean, so so I just you know it's it's an I thought it was an interesting way to end it. Um, I'm intrigued. You know, I look, I really enjoy this show. Mainly, honestly, yeah. I mean, the fighting was dope, and you know, um, I I enjoyed that. You know, I. Maybe there wasn't even enough fighting. I, I was just going to say that. I think I could have used a lot more I could have used a lot more. I really enjoyed, you know, um, you know, uh, 
Aiko's stuff is amazing, but I also really enjoyed Jenny and Zan. Like those fucking fights were just yeah. For me, those are like the best fights. You know, and, uh, I mean the you know the 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 police station fight. I mean that was oh their fight, know, dude. Their fight in the underground man in the, yeah. in the fight pit. Damn, that was good. And that kitchen fight. The kitchen I fight. Still, I still yeah. say that kitchen fight's one of my favorite fights. Yeah, I don't know. I really like the Lou Kai one, man. When they were on the in the going into the compound looking for Jenny, that was fun. The too, last, yeah. I like that one. I don't know. I just thought you that know was, was fun. It was a lot of action. You know, it was really fun. It was it was really fun seeing Louis Tan fight. You know, differently. I mean, look, we're we're. I mean, for the well, you, you know, we've seen Lewis a lot in Badlands and everything. You know, you know. Plus, you know, he's been in a, a bunch of other stuff too that we've seen him fight in. More, but most recently would be like Badlands, right? So we used to seeing him have a blade in his hand, you know what I mean, and fight like that. So it was cool to see him fight in modern day and stuff, and mm. and see that. So I thought that was really cool to see Lewis like that and, and getting getting in there and stuff. I'd love to have seen Lewis fight more, you know what I mean. But again, yeah. I just like what they did with these characters. Like they fight yeah. when they had to fight. Their styles are their styles because of who they are. Lou is a businessman, but he but he can handle himself. That's the whole point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, listen, it's it's tough because in a lot of these shows, especially being a new show, and this can go for any any show that's that's just began. You never know how it's going to do. You don't know how well really it's going to do. I'm sure the actors felt like this show was going to be awesome before it hit Netflix, but I guess maybe that's a part of you know you don't know we don't know how it's going to lead if it's going to go for another season or not. So maybe that's that's why sometimes um see, see you know series they end a particular way where right you got to go you you got to go, go bigger either way like, you go right, home, we can end it know, by yeah. doing it this way and it can be over but i mean obviously there's a bombshell in the end of this when ying ying's talking to kai then we start seeing like the ground the the ceiling fall down and stuff so there has to be something um bigger and 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 a plan for this and i'm sure a season 2 will get picked up uh for the show uh definitely so Zan Zan, we ha- I mean, Zan, we haven't seen her uh, in this episode, so she she's most likely that next villain. She's the one that's causing this. Um, uh, this break. I don't, the- I don't know. I don't know about that. I I think I she's. I'm, I think I'm she's a terrestrial sure. villain. I, if anything, I think she's the ground level, and then we may have a supernatural. I, I must. I must disagree with you. I think that um, she's definitely going to be. Uh, a big part of no 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 I don't, I'm not saying she's not gonna, I'm saying what what I mean is she's gonna be the ground level one the non supernatural uh, problem no, I, and there'll I, be a supernatural problem uh, it's very easy for them to to do something that she somehow I don't we didn't see her at all and they she wanted did power not have remember she all. wanted power and yeah, yeah so, right, so that's what I'm saying she has know. to be I'm really thinking that she's gonna be the one that we have to worry about in the next season so. Yeah, uh, that's I mean, cool though. I'm down with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because listen, they purposely didn't have her in episode ten at all. Right, yeah. For them to build her up in episode nine for killing, for killing um, six, yeah. six, and uh, you know, just being that that now new badass. Um, besides Makala, she's. I mean, to me, I think it's definitely her. I yeah. think it's definitely going to be. As her in some sort, way, shape, or form. So we'll see. We'll so see. yeah. So overall, overall, just final thoughts. I've said this a lot. Um, I, you know, uh, I I enjoyed the series. I enjoyed the series. It was fantastical. It was you know, it was mi- mystical. You know, it, it had some good effects. It had some bad effects. It had some really good fights. Some of the dialogue wasn't perfect, but. You know, the situations are really fun and interesting. The characters were, I felt, pretty fleshed out. All the, you know, they didn't give us, they didn't throw a billion characters at us and expect us to care about them all, but the ones that they did throw at us, I basically cared about a lot of these characters, you know? Um, and, you know, I mean, I can go into depth as to which ones and this and why and everything, but I enjoyed these characters. I thought they're well cast. I, I enjoyed everyone who played them. I, I, I just, I enjoyed the scenarios and I enjoyed the, the underlying tones of family and, and then, you know, all that stuff. So, I, you know, again, so I enjoyed the series. I'm looking forward to, to a second season. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. That's how I'm going to yeah. end my... No, yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I agree. I really did enjoy... I, I want to nitpick anything, you know? I mean, some scenes and some lines and some acting was... You know, I'm not going to get into that. I really did enjoy the story. I liked, I liked um, Ying Ying when she was breaking down how... 
uh, each Wu Jing was placed around the world and the globe. And I just liked the overall story of uh, of the Wu and 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 the Wu Jing and and the the thousand uh, Wu assassins before him and yeah. and all. I just really enjoyed the story and um, yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to season two. The acting was great. I agree with you again with who they chose to to uh, be some of these these characters, uh, mm-hmm. some of the actors there. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to just make sure I don't forget anything else. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm good with with uh, how uh, season one played out. So let's hope season two comes uh, sooner than later. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's gonna be it for Wu Assassins. Um... You know, we may throw a video out here and there for that. Uh, but at the end of this, I want to, um, you know, Mikey's going to tell you, you know, some other stuff we've done. But I just want to, I want to throw out another. I've, I've done this, I think, on this video, on these videos a couple times. But just as another fun thing that you can watch. You know, I mean, you know, we took our time getting these videos out, and we we understand that. So you've probably already watched with Assassins like a month ago, and you're like over it already. But you know, check out Altered Carbon. Uh, it's a really 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 interesting show it's a sci-fi show and it's just it's a really good show i I, i'm not going to go too much into it but you know basically people in the future can change bodies they call them sleeves and they can just change bodies and your your whole brain is put inside this little thing that goes in the back of your neck and it's just like it's really really cool and the first season uh, you know, with Joel Kinnaman was, was amazing. And, uh, Anthony Mackie is going to be in the second season. So that's going to be, that's, I think filming already. So it's really, really awesome. It's a, it's a, it's a, there's a series of three books based for this particular character for what's, what the show is right now. So, you know, I'm in the middle of the second book right now, and then I'm gonna hit the third book. And I just really enjoy this show. I actually just started watching Altered Carbon again, because I can't get it. I just really love this show. <laughs> it's it's like it's like Blade Runner, but like it out Blade Run Blade Runner's Blade Runner. You know what I mean? It's just like it's such a good show. Check it out if you're into that sci-fi stuff. That's just my little go watch. That's that. what what Chris is watching. Yeah, it's what I'm watching. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, like Chris said, we have a lot of cool stuff on the channel. Of course, thirdpersonpod.com it brings you right to to the to the YouTube channel there. We have some great um, interviews with a lot of, if you're fans of the Badlands, of course, we have uh, interviews with um, Sherman Augustus, Daniel Wu, Lewis, uh, we got Lewis, uh, Lewis Tan, Tan. And, yeah. Eugene we Yuan, have, we've got, we got, <laughs> we got so we many got people. Giovanni Lapari, who's the costume designer. We got Paco Cabezas. We get, we have so many, so many people that are, that are um, uh, behind uh, Badlands. So if you're a fan of the Badlands, check that stuff out. We have an awesome interview with John Bruno, who is the special effects legend for, obviously, um, for Nasiratu. Uh, and that was a big reason why we got him to begin with until we realized his huge resume of all the classic movies that he's worked on that I'm sure you all know. Ghostbusters, True Lies, Titanic, Avatar, The Abyss. The guy's fantastic. You can just press play and just listen to that, uh, that interview because it's just a lot of inside information. Um, about what goes on in making these classic films. Yeah. So we got some images in there out. too. He gave, he was able yeah. to give us some images. Yeah, a lot of behind the scenes images from Ghostbusters, especially. Poltergeist, uh, yeah, there's some good stuff. Poltergeist, in there. Nosferatu. It's awesome, awesome stuff. So check those interviews out because those are just some of the best content I think that Chris and I always put you know put out besides just uh, you know a, a review of a show. Yeah. So uh, thanks again. I hope you guys all enjoyed Wu Assassins. Uh, we'll see you for season two. Yeah. See ya. (laughs) Peace.